learning objective for this video is to measure the acceleration of an object and to do that we're going to use ticker timers. Now we're all familiar with using ticker timers from our last uh, practical so we can just jump straight into uh, doing it. I'm going to pull it through slowly and then speed it up as I get near the end. Now I'll know I'll be successful if I have a look down the end and I can see that it has got very closely spaced together dots and then they slowly get further and further apart and down the end they're much further apart so that's been a very successful one now these uh, little scrappy ones down the end I'm just going to rip those off and not use those ones and I'm going to start down there and end up down the end so what we want to do is figure out how using dots on a ticker timer we can determine velocity uh, without using a velocity time uh, a distance time graph like we used in the previous activity. So our formula for velocity is distance over time. So we should be able to work something out here using these dots because we have a distance that they've traveled clearly and we know the time interval between each dot. So our ticker timer velocity will equal the distance that the dots have traveled uh, and then we have the interval of each dot which is 1 50th of the seconds which is 0 0.02 times how many how many spaces there are between dots. So for instance, uh, obviously we're gonna scrap that crappy little bit at the start, which we don't want. And we're gonna find a nice good section here. So I can see I've got one, two, three, four, five intervals there. Now if I get my ruler here, I can measure it out and I'll get a distance of uh, 11 centimeters, 0 0.11 meters. Divide that by 0 0.02 times five, because there are five intervals. That's gonna give me an acceleration a velocity, sorry, of 1.1 meter per second. So how are we gonna measure acceleration? Well, hopefully your ticker time and tape looks something like this. It's probably gonna be a bit longer, but I can see just by looking at it that my intervals at the start are a lot shorter than they are at the end. So clearly I've had some sort of acceleration here. So we're gonna use the same uh, form we just looked at a second ago, but we're gonna choose a section right at the start. Uh, and hopefully you want you want to try a section where they're roughly uh, evenly spaced. So I'm going to measure that up the exact same way I did before. So I've got 0.058 meters, and there's four intervals and times that by 0.02 gives me an initial velocity u of 0.0725 meters per second. Right now I'm going to find a section near the end. Uh, I'm going to choose this section here. I'm going to measure it and do the same formula. Obviously there are only two intervals this time and I get a final velocity of 2.125 meters per second. Now I can apply this to my acceleration formula but I need to know the total time between all those dots so I choose my first dot and my last dot and I count how many intervals there are. So acceleration is change in velocity over time. So the change in velocity was Final velocity of 2.1 minus 0 0.07, and there were 10 intervals. So I get a final acceleration of 10.15 meters per second. So I want you now to do that on your ticker timer tape and calculate an acceleration.